Hello and welcome back. It's your boy Gilbert. We're playing some more God of War. We're on part 37. I hope her. I keep getting that one. Part 37. Guys, I hope you're good. I hope you will. We've got a colossal giant hanging over us. It's not looking good. Boulder just ran up there. It's time to chase him. Guys, let's go. Where are we going to go from here? Oh. Oh, he's moving it. Stay away from my son. You don't have to do this. Damn. Stop him. Oh. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hit him. Beat him up. Beat him up. Strangle him. Oh no. Oh, hold it. Oh, look at that. That was excellent, Atreus. Snap his neck again. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, Atreus. Strangle him. Atreus, choke him out. Choke him out. I want to thank both of them. You've done what even the All Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it? Spartan rage. Oh, we're going frost against Spartan Rage! Yeah, he did. Oh, man. Man, this... Oh, gotta, gotta, gotta. Oh, man, get out of there. Oh, mate. Three of them? That's got to be the last one. Um. Ow. Who are you? Beat him up one in the corner. Oh no, 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 no. He can do fire and ice. Oh, that was a big old hit. Call out the hounds. That's it, now let me get some. Wait, am I supposed to be using these? Oh, 
Well, father and son tag team, let's go. Oh man, was that the Stone Cold Stunner? Is that no? I don't know. Don't have a wrestling. Oh my goodness, this guy is not surviving this. We choking him out. Do it. Do it. Stop, please. He's beaten father. Not a threat. You will not come to us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. No. Uh oh. We can, because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop you. I know. Is he gonna do it? imaginable upon you I will finish your cold body from every corner of every realm 
and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> well, this is why you don't get involved. <laughs> Just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Oh. Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. Ooh. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. Don't turn your back on Freya. Don't turn your back on her. She wants to kill you. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? <laughs> Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Is she calmed down now. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. You had to do that. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. Oh, I don't want to think about Kratos getting too old. Whoa. I don't understand. Damn. You no know, saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was going to kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. Don't come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Hi. Jotunheim awaits. Yeah, I think that's the uh, Valkyrie. I'm not going to try that quite yet, but... Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful. The rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Can't believe he's dead. That was it. And yeah, Freya's probably never going to speak to us again. My mirror. Why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, 
A super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm. And oh, I just wanted to check the map. Oh my god, the worst maps ever. What is around the corner there? A boat dock, the masons. Custom never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared. No giants could be found in Midgard. And no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. <clears throat> Was this a... Uh... This oh crap. Something's here. Have I not been here then? These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. The spirit lies to you, boy. I was you. I had no mean spirits. They are all liars. No, very little. Laser beam. I was hoping I'd be strong enough to take these guys on now, and that. I was certainly am. Dust of Realms. Four out of eighteen. So, is there anything else here before we? So annoying. I'm just gonna have a quick look. Ah, Fafnir. I always wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like Fafnir storeroom, Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. <laughs> Hi, lads. I just randomly went through the door. I wasn't expecting to come across a chained dragon. <laughs> Broke it. Was that was that supposed to be that? How did your friend become a dragon? Yeah. Oh, he's no oh wow! A stroke was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. <laughs> Okay, so we've got one rune. Oh, is that... What was that? Oh, it's you, you... Okay, you're down. Can you please not zap me? Oh, let's open this. So... Oh, you got a 
smash it up, and then you can pull out the axe. Then you can hit it. Voice question: How did this dwarf become a dragon? Don't know for certain. Though I'd wager his pension for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. So where is this large one? Oh, well, there's something to climb here. But maybe this is it. Here we go. Oh, look at that guy. I don't know I'm what's going on. Think he'll remember you? I don't know, lad. A lot's changed since we last crossed paths. I had legs. <laughs> I wish we had some sort of a torch. How'd you get in there, then? Oh. Here we go. I already came in here. I just didn't notice that bit. Here, boy, read this. Wonder who wrote this. Law added. <clears throat> and we got a chest. Sweet. What is it? Oh, s serpent scale and steel. Alright, let's free this dragon. Absolutely destroyed. Oh no, I'm getting hit by the flames. Have we done it? Is there more? Oh no, there's more. Oh, we've got some wizard team. The wizard team. Thing. Oh, punch it up. <laughs> oh, what? There we go. Let's grab that health before anything else happens. Right, are we good? I think we're good. Boy, do it. Can't move. Oh. We did it. Here you go, you 
a wee little bugger. Well, the dragon hasn't done much for his personality. What the hell? A rare enchantment. Moderate perk activation. Chance to grant a blessing of runic. Whoa. Brilliant scale of the unchained. Dragon favor complete. The flight of Fafnir. Fr There's three dragons. That was just one. Ah, that was... That was an epic battle, and I got I, I was I had no idea. I was not expecting that. I just thought I'd just open this door and see what's going on inside there, and I was not expecting there to be a dragon. <laughs> but there we go. We're max on rage. We're max on health. I think. Oh look, that was sneaky. Let's see what's inside there. What is it? Uh, we've gone up there. Oh, no, we haven't got that. What's that? More hack silver, I bet. Oh, no, World Serpent Scale. I'm glad we... All right, I think we're good. So how do we get back... Oh, we can just run up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's one of the three dragons done. I feel a little bit better about that. Is it just back out? I guess it is. Damn. Well, guys, I'm going to call this episode here before we carry on. Help your boy out. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay this environment for ages. Guys, I will catch you on the next episode. One of them things over there. I'll catch you on the next episode. Look after yourselves. Peace.